There's many countries around the world that offer zero or low taxes relatively easy. A lot of them you can set up an offshore company or a company in that jurisdiction that is zero tax in seven to 14 days. But some of these countries are actually blacklisted all over the world and they're prejudiced as being centers of money laundering, tax evasion, and we need to make sure that we avoid those places and i'm not saying that from a subjective point of view saying oh that country has ugly beaches i'm going to show you the eu tax haven blacklist this particular blacklist obviously it's from the european union but a lot of other countries like the us canada and australia look at this blacklist to think okay this is the places where we need to go in order to find people that are committing these financial crimes. I don't want you to get involved in any scandal or to have your company in a place where you might not even be able to get a bank account. When you go to a particular country like here in the UAE and you wanna do business in the UAE and they look at you and you have a company from one of these countries, they don't wanna even deal with you. So let's go to the blacklist and find out what you should avoid when it comes to offshore jurisdictions and offshore banking. Here we are in the European Council's website and you have taxation EU list of non-cooperative jurisdictions. Nice way to put it. The EU list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes, a tool to tackle tax fraud, tax avoidance, money laundering. And these are the countries that have that particular status of non-cooperative jurisdictions. So we're talking about American Samoa, Fiji, Guam, Palau, Panama, Samoa, Trinidad and Tobago, US Virgin Islands, and Vanuatu. What's funny is that American Samoa, Guam, and US Virgin Islands, three US territories are on this list, but let's just keep rolling with it. These particular countries are objectively the worst countries where you should have a company in, an offshore company based in. A couple of days ago, the EU was a little bit under fire saying that their blacklist was BS because they actually removed Anguilla, Dominica, and Seychelles from the list after the Pandora Papers came out. If you don't know what the Pandora Papers are, they're basically a giant scandal. It's like the Panama Papers on steroids. And this particular scandal actually said that a lot of people that were committing these particular crimes, in their eyes, tax avoidance or not paying tax legally, what we do here on this channel is frowned upon, but we still do it because it's absolutely legal and we can do it and we can actually lower our taxes 100% legally. Seychelles was actually one of the places that these people were using to hide their money to do things illegally. So Seychelles, I would objectively say that that's one of the worst countries in the world to set up a company. It's very simple, it's fast, it's cheap, but if you go with a Seychelles company to Dubai, to any other country that you wanna get a good bank account in, they're gonna look at you, they're gonna laugh a little bit, and they're gonna tell you, no, I'm sorry, come back another time. Because they just don't respect people in those countries in terms of people that have companies in those countries, they're not gonna give you a bank account. In order to get a Seychelles company bank account, you're gonna leave there a high balance. It's very hard to get there to the Seychelles. The same with all these other countries and the banking is just not well developed. You're not gonna get payments from other countries. They're gonna take a long time in order to send money from the Seychelles to other country. It's gonna be a mess. So whenever you're choosing a place to either move to or to set up a company in, be very careful and look at all these blacklists in order to make sure that you're not prejudiced against just because of the country where you're based. Other territories and countries that we should mention here, for example, here in the timeline of the list, which was started in 2016 and 2017, here we have the Cayman Islands and Oman are removed from the list. I get a lot of questions about, are the Cayman Islands a good place to live? Are they a good place to bank? Are they a good place to go and pay zero tax? In my personal opinion, yes, the Cayman Islands offers a great lifestyle. It is quite expensive to get in obviously immigration it'll cost you at least a million or 1.2 million to just get a residence permit but if you have a high net worth and you want to live that island lifestyle and you don't want to go to Dubai but you still want to be around other extremely successful entrepreneurs then definitely the Cayman Islands offers that and now has been removed from the list even though Companies that are in the Cayman Islands are also prejudiced against their thinking, okay, these people are just in the Cayman to save on taxes. If you actually live there, then you have a reason for actually having your company in Cayman because you have a residence permit and you're actually spending time in the Cayman Islands. Now, I should also mention that there's countries that have specific blacklists for that particular country and the citizens 
of those countries. For example, Portugal is quite famous because they have an insanely large blacklist which goes all the way from Andorra to the United Arab Emirates. It mentions Puerto Rico, it mentions Jamaica, Bahamas, St. Lucia, you got Liberia, Brunei, so countries that you wouldn't even think about setting up a company in one of those countries, Portugal actually considers them to be a tax haven or a tax non-cooperative jurisdiction. So whenever you're setting up an offshore company or wanting to lower your taxes, obviously legally we talk about 100% legal strategies, look at the country where you're a citizen of and see if they have any potential blacklist. For example, if you go and set up a company in the Seychelles, which like I said 10 times, I don't recommend, you might go and set up a company there, make it very easy, very cheap, but then you go back to your country of citizenship and you tell them, oh, I don't need to pay taxes to you, Australia, because I have my company in Seychelles. Again, they're gonna laugh in your face and tell you, no, please pay up, pay the tax that you owe us because Seychelles is so scrutinized, because so many people think that people just go there to evade taxes illegally. So I wouldn't just do this on a whim. I wouldn't think, oh, I wanna lower my taxes, and I Google make an offshore company. I find, oh, in Belize, they make offshore companies in 20 minutes. Let me do that, let me pay 50 bucks and get my company. Your particular country of citizenship, wherever you're coming from, will not accept that. So whenever you're choosing a country, choose one that has global reputation, for example, the UAE. They have global reputation, yes, they're 0% tax, they have extremely low taxes, but people respect them. If anybody here is caught with tax evasion, they actually send them back, so they extradite them back to their country, and they're very cooperative with many other countries all over the world. Try to find a jurisdiction like that, like the Republic of Georgia, which is not thought of as a tax haven, and a lot of people respect, and they think, oh, people go there just to live and enjoy, not to actually avoid paying taxes. Those are the countries that you need to choose, and the countries that we talk about here on the channel, not just look at the 0% tax or the ease of business, more about the reputation and the respect that those countries have all over the world. If you want help setting up an offshore company in a jurisdiction that'll actually help you save on taxes, and you wanna lower your taxes absolutely legally, to 0% or as close to 0% as possible. Go to wealthyexpat.com slash apply. I have a service where I help entrepreneurs and investors lower their taxes legally through many different strategies all over the world. We can get on a one-on-one -on -one strategy call, add that link, and we can talk directly what are your options, what strategies you should use, and how to move forward. And if you wanna know what are the best zero tax countries all over the world, the countries where you can actually go to or set up a company in and pay legally 0% tax, check out the video that is going to pop up right here, the best zero tax countries all over the world, and also zero tax for capital gains, because some countries have capital gains tax as zero, but some personal income tax are for you investors or crypto investors, you can definitely benefit from those. Subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and comment below your questions that you have for me about any of these topics. Like the video if you liked it, and I will see you on the next one.